Anyway, let us Let's uh, jump into the next game, man. We got Dill fighting off against Ling Ling. Rob versus Peach. I mean, we already saw Blazing Pasta get knocked out. Ling Ling being the last Peach here in top eight. Loser this going down with a fifth place finish. Winner's going to move on to fight off against Sasa and Loser's semis. Yeah, so Dill already had to play uh, one Peach in Blazing Pasta today. And uh, let's see if uh, what he learned against uh, fighting Pasta will translate over into fighting Ling Ling. Yeah. And I uh, remember, uh, Dill ended up beating a 6WX and Helka earlier on to make it this far into the bracket. And he's ranked number 11 in New York City, the last New Yorker in the bracket, fighting off against Connecticut's own Ling Ling, ranked number four on the New England. So this is going to be a, a tough fight for other people. If you asked me who I th thought would win, I would probably tell you Ling Ling. But honestly, the way this tournament's been going, who knows? Yeah, man. I, I don't know. Right now, it's pretty even at the gates right now. As you can see, Dill... It feels kind of his own entity to kind of fight against because you don't really fight players like this. All he needs is a grab. That's it. All, all he, he needs is a grab, and then he he take he, t he takes an inch and he takes it a mile, man. I just need one grab. Just need one grab. So this would be again probably considered an upset right now. Again, Dill, a really good player, but you don't you know he doesn't really leave the backyard too often. But when he does, yeah. stuff like this happens. He only goes to events that House 2000 are working. By the way, House 2000, shout out to them for running the Beach Bootcamp. Oh. oh, there we go. Hit with the frying pan. I'll use my frying pan as a drying pan. Oh. Drive that stock. Oh, looking like tangled out here. Hey, oh. Okay. <laughs> Got the up tilts coming in. Good burst option. I like that from Ling Ling. Opting to just try to challenge Dill to get back down to the ground. Takes the trade. At least he gets out of disadvantage, you know? Yeah, without a doubt. But still, Ling Ling having to tread water right now. He hasn't really gotten super comfortable yet. But that Dill on the ledge. Great use of that down air. Okay, neutral air again. Catches the up B. Let's go for the back air. I like this ledge pressure coming from uh, Ling Ling. He was hoping for the neutral get up from Dill. Ooh. Back air is going to give him some space to work with. That gyro's placed perfectly. Wants the up air. Flinging them hands. I like the spacing on that forward air too, right? He placed it in such a way after he swung it. It was too far away for Lillian to try to get a punch. Oh. The gyro messing up oh my the puzzles. The gyro, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought we were friends. Yeah. We had a deal. Good tech. <laughs> Oh, oh what, my a, God. what a conversion. You saw him jump off stage with the turn up, got the confirm right afterwards. Smart stuff. Yeah, Ling Ling is, is, has put his uh, big boy edge guard pants on today for sure. Get down, Eric. Got a simple easy bait combos off stage, but hold on a sec. Starting to run that meter. Ooh, again, Dill able to escape this advantage, and Ling Ling trying to maybe go for a, a read on a jump or something. Yeah, Dill just can't escape these speeches, dog. Oh, down smash. And honestly, at this point, you saw the back here, you know, he's going straight through the gyro. You see the control that Ling Ling is displaying in this match. Feels extremely comfortable fighting off against the likes of Dill and Rob. Yeah, man. There we go. Forward air once again. Going to provide a great anti-air for Peach. Oh, my God. It was all set up, man. Dill throws out the gyro, waits for the Peach Bomber to come off, and jumps right off stage to connect the follow-up with a forward air to kill him off. And now... Things are starting to become slippery. Drags him down. Look at this conversion off the platform. Good response. Oh, no way. No. Could not get the kill just yet. Ah. Looking for the back air. He wants it so badly. Look at that spacing from Ling Ling. Opting to just go a little uh -oh. bit higher than it. The gyro Dill has control. Throwing the, the gyro right onto the ledge. The wheels are starting to come off now for Ling Ling. Finally able to get down to the ground. Good float to kind of follow the tech read, but still not in a position to get a follow up out of it. Trying to land down with the neutral air as well. Managed to catch her on fire bit by bit. The, what was a strong lead for Ling Ling is now falling away. Back throw to give himself some stage control. This is where Dill struggles. Uh -oh. Turn up, he's still got some gas. He's back air Working with it. Back. He used the back air to get some more momentum. He has to catch that ledge. Yeah. Ling Ling knew. Wow. Dill had to go for the ledge at that moment because he was almost out of fuel. He might have had to go for an air dodge to catch the ledge too. But because Ling Ling was hyper aware of that, managed to throw out an air covering the ledge, sends Dill flying and takes away game number one. By the way, major difference I can see already between Ling Ling and Pasta when they played Dill is that Ling Ling is properly edge guarding Rob for the, long, for the entirety right. of the set against Pasta. Pasta didn't really get a beat on how to get Rob when he was off stage. And, and we talked about that. We talked yeah. about that in that set where Pasta was kind of respecting Dill too much off stage. He would, because like the couple of times they did go off stage, he would get punished for it. He would jump off, uh -huh. he would get stage spiked, he would be the one suddenly in disadvantage. So he, he suddenly became scared to do it, so he just started to stay on stage instead. Meanwhile, you got Ling Ling, who's not afraid of anything apparently, goes no. off there. The thing is, what's, what's the difference is, is that Ling Ling is utilizing the turnips. 
that's what's actually giving him the edge guards he's looking for. Because he knows as long as he just you know aims it ever so slightly against Rob's recovery, he what is he gonna do? Air dodge? Once he air dodges, like his up he's gone. Yeah. Exactly. So like yeah. it's a target. It's all about target practice with that turn up. And once he lands the turn up on his foe, he can easily convert that into a kill right afterwards, like a forward air or a neutral air, back air, whatever you want to do. Any of the airs. <laughs> Something with air. Oxygen. He wears airs. Okay, Dill kind of <laughs> thinking about this next match. Or he's thinking about right having for dinner later. Honestly, it could be either or. He's yawning, so I, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I want to know what like Dill's like heart rate is at like any given time. I don't think I've ever seen Dill get like excited or like. I've never seen Dill pop off in my life. Both these players, actually, when you think about it, they, ne neither of them really emote. Yeah, you know? they're pretty stoic. All right, so that's going to be Town and City and Final Destination getting banned by Ling Ling. So Dill's opting to go back to, you know, try, try to go to PS2. Work with this a bit. Yeah, and like we said, the edge guarding proven to be crucial right there for Ling Ling. He was able to net a couple of stocks uh, doing so. So let's see if he's able to keep that up or if Dill can make the necessary adjustments because Game two Dill has usually been pretty good, from what I've realized. You know, use oh, that's a dot eyes though. That's gonna be some big damage if Lingling can convert that. Oh, yeah. Mama Luigi on a bed of white rice. What was that? What did you just say? <laughs> anyway, nice back air from Lingling as he continues on. A bear from Dill. <laughs> Okay, I'm talking. Okay, this is this is where Dill thrives, right? He loves having Peach above him because he's really good at just covering these landings against them. Gonna get a punish after that down smash, catches the grab, big punishes afterwards. I don't know if that's gonna kill. It did. Okay, hold on. Hold that's on. That's just really good. Down throw at what? 85% led into that kill. Yeah, pretty much. That's something that's all it takes, man. <laughs> I mean, that was a trade. That was probably not worth it for Dill. But hey, it did 27 damage into the next stock, so I guess it still gave him a lead. I can't even come up, come up with a metaphor for how funny a trade that was. Yeah. There we go. Neutral air. Pushing him up to the top. He just rolls away to get away from that ledge. He recognizing that Lee Ling is looking for that aerial, aerial uh, reaction. Ooh. So opts to go for the roll instead to get away from that. Oh, oh that, that jab locked him. Oh my I god. I don't think he recognized either because he opted to go for the grab afterwards. I don't think I've ever seen that jab lock in my entire life. I, I've seen it a couple times, but it's very rare. Definitely a rare occurrence. Forward air. Down throw. See if he gets the kill again. Opts to go for the up smash because it's a mix up based on how they mash with their DI is afterwards. Ooh. Forward throw to push him off again. 123% on Lingling. Looking to try Ooh. to get this uh, hole in one. Yeah, maybe try enough two frame with the long reach of the golf club. Up there. There we go. That time opting to go for the uh, optimal setup, you know. Recognize he's going to mash out. Opts to just catch him on that platform with the up air. And now it begins. The down tilt sets him up <laughs> extremely nicely for that jab. It looked like he was looking for the robble right there, but yeah. just wasn't able to get it. No tech from Dill. Still going to be able to get back to the stage. Opts to go for the hot, the, the vertical. Opts to go high. Dash attack point blank, saws him go for the Jeez. forward air, get out of here, get back off stage, I'm not having any of this. See Dill again playing chase, Ling Ling having a rough time getting back to the center stage right now. Trying to read maybe a jump into the up air right there, but Ling Ling just staying put, going for the air dodge. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Going at the gyro again, another dash attack, it's just a, another burst option to get Ling Ling off of him. There we go, has the gyro, Z drops oh it, he tries to get into the nair right afterwards, would have been devastating for him. Whatever. Ooh. Get out of here. You're going to peach bummer me, man? Dill says forward smash. Yeah. The eyes. I don't think I've ever seen like the zoom in effect on Rob's lasers. That actually looks really cool. Do you think Rob has so. pupils? Um. <laughs> does Rob have astigmatism? Yeah. Can Rob's get stigmatism? <laughs> Here's the trade that was the best trade in the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> 27 damage. <laughs> was it worth it? I, I don't he, he won, so yeah, I guess, in the, in, in the grand scheme of things. Right there, you saw Leeling. I think he actually air dodged downwards. That's what caused it. It must have been a buffer. Something like that. Needless to say, yeah. though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right, right, in, oh, right in the face. God. Yeah. That looked morbid. Okay, back to, uh, looks like we're going to go to Kalos Pokemon League. Yeah, so the bands were uh, both tripod stages in uh, Yoshi's and Battlefield. So, yep. Ling Ling just wants to work with some space. The next best thing he can get. If I can't get platforms, give me open ranges to work with. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, Aussie, but I'm pretty sure this is Kalos' first appearance in the top eight. So. 
I feel like we've seen it before, but you're probably right. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, who's counting? Yeah. We're just commentators. We know. Okay, there we go. Throwing out the gyro again. Ling Ling. And now this this is the start that Ling Ling likes to do with that compared to like Blazing Pasta, right? You right. use the turnips effectively against him off stage. And now because there's a wall right there, and Jill likes to hug the wall, it sets him up so nicely for Ling Ling to just be able to get these free down airs against him. What in the world? Are you serious? <laughs> Bro, are you kidding? He actually escaped? I could have hit him. He actually escaped that way. <laughs> so Dill was just caught off guard, I guess. Dill's never seen Mary Poppins, I guess. Yeah. He doesn't really know how umbrellas uh, Learn about the <laughs> rainbow, man. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Those hips don't lie. Get the back air. That's going to be a stock lead for Ling Ling. Arm rotor just in case he went to fast fall. That would have killed. Or throw to turnips. That does double as a reflector. Footstool. What? That footstool killed him. <laughs> you see, Dill's like, oh. Ling Ling, he, Ling Ling just like gave up. Like He, he was in tumble for so long. He was like, well, I'm just going to fall. Yeah, I did my best. Definitely accidental, by the way. You know Dill was not going for a footstool. I don't care what anybody says. Every footstool is on purpose. Like, even if it's not accident, it's on yeah. purpose. Well, some are on purpose, you know? There we go. Joe going back to the projectile game. And at this point, you know, Ling Ling is like, a little hungry for these grabs, right? He'll get a lot of damage off them or a down tilt. And Dill was not giving him any sort of, like, breathing room with that shield pressure he was exhibiting. The down tilts yep. are so quick with very little cooldown afterwards, he can just spam down the shield and Ooh. try to get the poke afterwards. You see Ling Ling trying to find his way back in right now. Oh, both guys playing shield chicken right in point blank yeah. range right there. So it's going to be Ling Ling coming up on at least the better end of it. Very close quarters for these two. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. I, get, I, there you go, Dill. That was the correct answer. Sends him flying. Got the gyro again. That's at least like 49 years of bad luck for Ling Ling yeah. from the Umbrella Shield opening his doors. Don't, yeah, yeah, no, it is. I mean, you're in a church. Is, is this a church? I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's a cathedral. It's That's, a gym. It's a church. I don't know. It's the Elite Four room, actually. Oh, okay. So we got 18 damage on Ling Ling. He's got the lead. Uh, Dill's got the lead ever so slightly. Trying to catch that roll that would have that would have got taken away yeah. the stock. Like you said, that is a, an option that Dill's been favoring. So you know, I don't blame Ling Ling for yep. committing extra hard in right. there. Oh, ah, Another do you like footstool. It? I mean, he's got a good recovery. Yeah, you're right. So we got the up B to get back on. Not to say Peach has a bad recovery per se. Yeah, it's there just, we go. She can't fly. Yeah. You got some more up airs coming out. Gonna punish that with that whiffed uh, forward air. Sheesh. The option Trying to find the here. Neutraler. Very nice, like I said. You know, Ling Ling just knowing when to go deep against uh, Rob, utilizing all of the tools that Peach has to be able to get back to the stage. Down tilt, he... catches him late, holding on to that ledge a little bit too long, places the gyro in a terrible spot, but that was actually good recovery from Ling Ling. He waited for the gyro to fall off before committing to the parasol that would get him right through it. 90% okay, on Ling Ling. Dill could potentially get a kill off of a grab at this point. Ooh. Ooh. Back air, but yeah, he, Ling Ling was holding forward. I was going to say, he had the right idea because Ling Ling, uh, for when he's ever he's on the stage, he's been bypassing the platform just by going for double jump float. So good awareness here from Dill to try to stuff that out. Trying to fling his arms at him with these up airs. Catches the nair. I like these snipes coming in from Dill. Trying to aim his lasers ever so slightly. And Ling Ling's starting to bring it back. Bit by bit. Yeah, the longer you let your food hang around, the, the worse off you're going to be. It'll become spoiled. Yeah. And then it'll be the princesses spoiled. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. 159% on Ling Ling. Jo oh, my God. That was up smash instead. He almost smashed for him. There we go. 196%. How is he still alive? That's a great question. There he there goes. We go. Good night. Get that parasol out of there. I'm, I'm catching it on fire. Yeah, Dill. Uh, showing his disgust yeah. with what just happened right there. He is uh, not happy. The thing is, like, Dill and Ling Ling have played against each other before in the past. I don't know how much they've played in Ultimate, per se, but they played a lot back in the Smash 4 days because back then, like, Ling Ling used to come out to Xenos in New York City, like, all the time and would, yep. like, invade us. And, uh, you know, we would, like, try to defend ourselves against the likes of Connecticut. And right now, Dill's putting on a show for New York. You know, being the last one in the bracket because, you know, the New England's starting to dwindle by. Philly's starting to dwindle a bit. And uh, then we got uh, Gons representing New Jersey and Dill on New York. Yeah, so, so all four of the major, uh, all, all four of Quad State are still being, alive. Being represented. Everyone's still alive. I'm a big fan of, it. Big fan of Quad State. Quad State. Honestly, it should just be called the Pacific Northeast. Yeah, we really should. Yeah, but um, obviously.
We interact with each other so much. That's such like a hard topic of conversation. Because right. like, business tri-state is New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. And Smash tri-state is New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. And depending on who you talk to, they're like, oh, I don't even consider Pennsylvania tri-state. It's just like, well, you got to have no choice. Right. <laughs> like, but <laughs> You're just wrong at that point. <laughs> It, it, it becomes tough. It's a touchy subject. But what I do know for a fact is that New York City is here, still alive in the bracket. You know, we saw Suarez and Ralphie taking some early losses down into the uh, out of the bracket before they even reached top eight. So Dill narrowly yeah, escaping man. into top eight after that. I, again, I always like to talk about that 2-0 that deficit he had against 6WX to make it this far. Yep. Brought it all the way back. And now he's sitting against Ling Ling, one game away from sitting in loser semis. Against Sauce. Yeah. Trying to find out our top four competitors. Yeah, so Ling Ling opting to pick Town and City. Dill once again banning both uh, triplat stages. So I guess Dill, I guess Ling Ling's just going for whatever's next best on the docket. Yo, Callus in a workout. Let's see if this works any better. He got the parry action coming out from Ling Ling. Now we're hovering against that ledge. Good spaceman, but Dill still survives. Managed to catch him onto that ledge. I think they used the directional air dodge upwards to try to get onto that ledge as soon as possible. They gave right. him an extra little bit of boost. So he didn't get caught by Ling Ling. Oh, Bear to catch the landing. I think he's at a jump, so Dill can hey. capitalize on this. Okay, laying out the down air. That's definitely going to call out the uh, up air. He managed to get the kill, and uh, he got the top to boot. Now, Ling Ling can run away with this. While she's holding on to that top, that gyro, uh, Dill can't summon it again. Very true. Okay, look at those down tilts. What a bully. At the same time, Peach also can't pull turnups, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. She's holding the gyro, so double edged sword. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there oh, we oh, go, oh. Ling Ling abusing that 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 recovery from Dill again. You know, using the uh, vegetable to turn up off stage, gets the stage spike. Now Dill's turn, managed to whiff that up smash. Great mash out coming out from Ling Ling. Yeah, even though Rob's recovery is better in this game because he can't air dodge out of his upbeat now. Yeah. Um, still, it just screams hit me at that point when you're that close to the stage. So. Okay, gonna be able to go for the shield grab upon that jab, catch the up smash. That's gonna be Dill finally putting a stock away, but the Ling Ling still's got a lot of momentum here. Yeah, let's see what the answer is from Dill again. Making good use out of those up airs when Peach is just right above him. Looks like Ling Ling hasn't really been able to adjust to that yet. There's Barrage and down tilts on the platform, some more forward airs coming out. Ooh, just that was literally the very last hit of that forward air that yeah. hit them right there. That was crazy. Yeah, Dill likes to throw out those aerials very close to the ground to make them you know, land very last second. So they make them safer upon, you know, touching the ground. Exactly. The double spot dodge? There we go. Dill gets the grab. Up tilt into up air. Gets oh my the kill. God. Wait, and so Ling Ling deleted two stocks earlier and Dill did the exact same thing in Ling Ling. Now we have ourselves suddenly a somewhat close match. I mean, Ling has got advantage right now. He's got stage control, but yeah, easily decimates. And I was going to say, this is a character in Peach that has seen, you know, significant nerfs to her killing moves. So, you know, this, you've seen these games kind of go hang around a little bit too long for Ling Ling's comfort. Yeah. Tries to get the punish off the Peach Bomber using the gyro as an assist to extend that combo. <laughs> I mean, honestly, do it that range to prevent him from trying to get the center stage fast, I guess. Okay. Goes off stage, catches Dill, going for the up B, you know, ascending a bit. Gets caught by the back air. That's going to be Ling Ling taking that game. What almost looked like a three stock suddenly became extremely close near the end. Yeah, that's what I mean, man. Sometimes, you know, Peach just doesn't have the same arsenal to kill as reliably or as early as she would like. So some of these stocks kind of hang around a little bit too close for comfort sometimes. And that could have been a much worse scenario for Ling Ling, but still able to close it out at a percent where, you know, things you can still feel kind of comfortable about, about things. And we're going to have another Game 5 coming up, Aussie. Yes, sir. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be a top eight if we didn't see a bunch of Game 5s. They're Game 5s for a reason. It's because, you know, the, the, the best of the best in this tournament that attended, like, are here duking it out. So they're all going to be mad close. I mean, I can only think of like one that was like a 3-0, and the rest of them have been pretty much game yeah, fours that was or game God fives. Versus sauce, so. Yeah, everything else has been like game fours or game fives. Back air, there it was. You see the hearts come out too. It it's just makes so good, man. It's like I don't feel like that was love. <laughs> it's probably my favorite like zoom in kill animation. In the yeah, because love hurts, man. Love does hurt. This got dark really fast. I feel like Dill takes forever in between games. Every single time. I, I've always said this time and again. But he, he's just, he, he likes to think. <laughs> he likes to think about what he wants to do. 
He's like, he's deciding, because we got the bans already. You know, it's Final Destination and Unova are off the map, so Dill's trying to contemplate. On top of it, what stage did they go to for game one? Because that's also off. Uh, not game one, but uh, the one that Dill won on I has also been removed. Because, don't recall. Well, we have TDSR in place. So what that means is that game one you could still go back to because that was the, that was the uh, default stage that both players agreed to. But any stages that you win on that you counterpicked cannot go back to. So there's three stages that he cannot pick. But the TDSR is Terrence DSR, according to what I'll see. I, I, I was just throwing out a word. I was <laughs> spamming at that point. So Dill, like, matching. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I play Chrom, so you, you got to mash that A button. <laughs> what, what was that? That's the noise he makes, right? Yes, 100%. <laughs> you nailed it. Right right on the money, Koopa. Right on the money. Uh, let's see. It looks like we're uh, this is a bit of a... What is uh, going on? I think the rules are not very translatable. I think they're just trying to figure out, like, what they need to ban and, like, wi alongside with TDSR. Oh, they're not used to TDSR, it looks like. Tedious D DSR, am I yeah. right? I, mean, I, I could, uh, that was a good one. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm proud here. of you. I'm here, uh, probably for like another hour. Uh, yeah? Two hours. You think so? Maybe. I got work in the morning, man. I gotta go home. Same. Did you like this convention, by the way? I love this convention. I've been to this convention twice now after this weekend. Uh, if you're into retro gaming, definitely recommend coming to Too Many Games here in uh, Oaks, PA. It's apparently, according to what I was told by Tantalus, this is the largest market for retro uh, games in the East Coast. That's godlike. So and also, you could see uh, Ken Masters, uh, you know, Hell Wheel, freaking uh, Isabel. Yeah. You can watch uh, Hagrid. Uh, in person, <laughs> on the wrestling ring. Like, Wrestle cosplay. Ezio. Yeah. That was Assassin's sick. Creed, yeah, Let's was, jump into game five. Final destination. Right back into it. Did that really happen? I felt like that was a fever dream. Anyway. Yeah. Get into this game five here where we finally decided on the stages. So it was like Lingling originally wanted to ban FD, but I think something happened where he couldn't. I don't know what happened. It's all good. We're, we're going to final destination. The platforms are gone. Three stocks apiece. Let's find out who's going to be our last contender. Honestly, if Dill managed to make it into loser semis, we have one player being represented by all four regions in that top four. So it'd be like kind of like settling. But you know Ling Ling doesn't want to give that to him. You yeah, know he, he's sitting very comfortably. He's like, hey, I'm not from New England. I'm from Connecticut, which is New England, I guess. It's, but it is. <laughs> it's, yeah. 72% to 70. Dash attack. I like that cross up from Dill. You know, landing down with that forward air gives himself some breathing room across from Ling Ling. Back air gives him a lot of breathing room as well because it gives that little extra oomph to get away yeah. from the opponent. I'm a, I'm a big fan of moves that like also shift your hurt box like that. Like That's like such a great creative design. And yeah. also works for Rob, but speaking of back airs, Aussie, uh, Peach's back air, finding respite after Dill got off to a pretty hot start there. Jeez. He's trying to break that shield with arm rotor, but oh. look at all that damage he got off of it, and it's continuing. <laughs> he took that turn up, he's like, no, get out of here, back here. But that was 61 damage. That's all it takes sometimes, man. To give Ling Ling an inch, it'll take 61% and a half. Okay. That was risky, putting himself off stage. He was hoping for the neutral getup from Ling Ling or a double jump approach. That would have been stuffed that out too. Get, get the there. Turn there we go, neutral air will kill off the top. So Ling Ling, after putting on that death, you know, that pretty stellar combo uh, off the start for uh, uh, on tilt, doesn't really matter too much right now because the cap is closing. Good headshot from Ling Ling, gonna be able to catch that Peach Bomber across Rob. Put some back off stages where Dill has been struggling against the likes of Ling Ling. And just like that, when he tries to go back with the peekaboo move with that forward air, gets caught by the down air while Ling Ling's just floating right above him. There we go. So we'll set up into the up air. Now Dill lurking again, but great uh, job from Ling Ling. Just drifting off to the side, hitting with the forward air. The turn up spikes, hold on. Good pressure from Ling Ling, not denying him stage presence. Going for like these sour spots. Finally finds an answer, but it's not going to be good enough. Even though he hit him away, he still caught the draw onto the stage. Ling Ling was there waiting one stock away. Uh -oh. Moving on to the bracket, guaranteeing himself top four. He waits for the gyro. Ling Ling is playing incredibly patient at this point. Yeah, you see, you just get, slowly see things kind of sliding away from Dill right now, but again, able to approach, but good grab right there. That's going to reset the situation again for Ling Ling. He's just going for broke right now. He went he super deep. I mean, if he would have landed that hit, that would have been the set. But now Dill, can he get the kill? This is super important. Up air, gets it. Dill bringing it back yet again. And this is the same repeat that we saw from the previous game. They're both at one stock. Dill the one with high percent. 
Uh -oh. Okay, no tech. You're still gonna be able to live though. Air Dodge is back into the stage. What was that footstool? Oh, but now he's got some stage control. He can work with this. Yeah. But he just stayed in the corner. Yeah, Dills get got caught sitting in shield against a Ling Ling. Able to get the conversion, and there we go. Gonna catch that spot dodge. Ling Ling coming in clutch with that forward air, showing him the crown and why he's the princess. Takes the win. Moves on into losers at semis. Dill going down with a fifth place finish, and that's going to be it for New York City. Yep. So Here at Smash Delphia 2019. Yep, so Dill coming out on uh, the wrong end of that, as you see. You know, you know, some replays from the set. And a great, again, a great showing from Dill here. Unfortunately, uh, will be stuffed out of fifth place as Ling Ling mm. moves on to either face the winner of. Uh, sauce? Be, uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Ling Ling has to fight Sauce now. Yeah, he so. has to fight Sauce. Winner and, uh, of that goes on to play the loser of our next set coming up, Bossy. Yeah, but uh, before we jump into that set, I'm pretty sure we're going to be uh, going over to a break real quick. Yes, I want to think. So. Yeah, right after this one. But before that, you know, it's been a pleasure, you know, casting this top eight here at Smash Delta. This entire weekend's been uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the company for bringing us out here to be able to, you know, be able to cast this event. It was oh, yeah, a this lot has, of this fun. has been a great time so yeah. far. I love this event. I love yeah. this convention. And I bought way too much stuff. So. It's been a pleasure. But, guys, don't go anywhere. We got winner's finals coming at you momentarily. Stay tuned.